Hey, hey, beekeepers, what's up? Old Steve-O here for another exciting episode in the wonderful world of Steve-O's outdoor world. Is that not amazing or what? Where you get vast knowledge of the beekeeping world. Mm-hmm. God, I'm getting so full of it, guys. My eyes may be getting brown. Are they? Are they are they getting brown? No, they're still hazel. Anyone? Glad you're here with me today. Oh, uh, check this out. Martin fixed me up, guys. Martin fixed me up. Check it out. Look at this. Custom. Custom cloak board. Yes, sir. Guess what that's made out of? Cypress wood. Yes, Martin had some cypress wood. Yeah, it's a cloak board. Now I got to do a few things to it. I'm going to put some plastic excluder on here. It's got a piece of paneling in here, which I'm going to roll some. It's, qu it's quite a bit of slop in here to where I can add some wax, beeswax to this thing. See that? I can pull this out. You're going to have an excluder on here, plastic excluder. And then I'll beeswax this thing, both sides. Yeah. There's not any on the market, guys. Everybody's got 10 frame cloak boards. Stevo is a custom, custom cloak board for a five frame nook. Five frame nook, yes. And here's the, here's the entrance. We can drop that in. Right, and when we're ready for the bees to come out, we can pull that out and then go right in there. Shove our cloak board in. That is cool, cool trick number one for the day. All right, cool, cool trick number two in Steve's wonderful outdoor world that you're in right now. Don't you love it? Are you guys feeling the love? Are you feeling the love? Come on, guys, you got to admit there's love going on here, right? Honeybee love. You gotta, you gotta love it. All right, what are we doing today? You know what a pain in the ass it is? Can mix one-to-one -one sugar syrup. It's a pain, right? It's a pain. Now, I've been hunting all over the place. Hunting all over the place for a tank. So I got the old brain started working. And I said, huh, you know what would make? I was looking at my soft water unit out here. The salt brine tank I said that is the tank I need aha so I call my people to install this unit out here I won't say their name I don't want to ruffle up any feathers I won't say their name but I thought this would be an easy one acquiring the tank will be easy I said I need a brine tank that I can mix my sugar water in I'm going to show you how to rig it up here in a minute it's going to be very cool you're going to you're going to give me a double thumbs up on that one guys I said I'm looking uh I'm looking for a tank I'm a, I'm a beekeeper oh I just love the hunt the whole honeybee concept that secretary goes oh it's so wonderful that you're a beekeeper and I said yes it is it's a wonderful thing she said, I gotta let me talk with the manager and, and, and I'll tell her you want a tank, a brine tank. Okay, and I'll get back with you this afternoon. Never heard nothing, guys. Never heard a thing. So I call the next day. I said, This is Steve, the beekeeper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked to you. Oh, she didn't call you back? No, no one called me back. Well, she said, uh, so we're so, I apologize for that. I apologize for that. Okay, well, what's going on? Well, no, no, you can't, no, we don't, uh, we don't have any of those tanks for sale. Okay, okay. I said, can I, uh, so, so I said, okay, well, if you don't have anything for sale, you don't have anything for sale. I just figured you're pulling out units all the time, you know, and you're probably throwing them in the dumpster or whatever, those old tanks, units. We'll come to find out what they do. They clean them up and they put them right back out there. They put them right back out there. On these rental units and whatever. That's all she ever had to say, but you know. You never get the truth out of nobody anymore, it seems like. Anyway. 
So I said, okay, well, thank you very much. So I hung up. I got thinking. Let me talk to Will. The Will, the guy that sold me this unit last year. All right? Now, here I am, guys. I'm a... I bought a unit from him, all right? And I'm on salt, uh, a, a monthly salt deal. Service, salt service. Which is not much money at all. It's really cheap to do. So I figured, you know, anyway, I call, I said, I'll call back and see if I can't talk to Will. So I called the girl back. And I says, uh, this is Steve again. Uh, uh, could you have Will call me? You know, because Will is the salesman. He's going around pulling out units, has his boys install units, you know. If there's anybody on the planet who would know where the extra salt tank would be, it would be Will, right? She said, well, what, what, what would that conversation be about? I said, I just need to talk to Will. Well, just what would that conversation be about? She's getting cocky with me now, guys. She's getting cocky with me. I'm like, well, you, you flipping so-and-so. I'm going to myself, you know. I said, well, the conversation would be with Will, seeing how him and his boys are ripping out tanks all the time, and he's probably got a half a dozen of them sitting at his house somewhere. He has no right, no right, Will has no right, as all he is is a salesman, he has no right to sell one of those tanks. I said, whoa, whoa, excuse me. Okay. She wasn't going to give me the guy's phone number. I didn't want his phone number anyway. I said, have him call me. She said, he has no right to sell any tanks. I said, sorry about that, ma'am. Okay, bye-bye. I didn't get on her ass. I should have said, listen, I'm a friggin'... I, I'm one of your loyal customers. You're, you come over here delivering salt to me every month. And I can't get a handle on what the deal is on these tanks. I didn't say that at all. I said, thank you very much, ma'am. And I hung up. So then I said, well, the heck with all these people. I'll just go ahead and went online, Craigslist, and sure enough, there's a place over here in Tampa, you know, buying Joe's gas to, to drive clear across town to pick up a $25 tank. They're in there. They had 55-gallon tanks. A whole, they went from 55 all the way to 70-something. They're the pickle barrels, guys. The pickle, the, they ship in these pickles, right? And they're in vinegar and all that. And then they use them one time, I guess, and unload them. And they got the big screw lids on them. I said, that'd be perfect mixing tank for my one-to-one -one sugar syrup. But it's way to heck. And then and they're 25 bucks for a 55-gallon. I said, well, it's kind of overkill, but it's cheap enough. But, and, but I didn't want to drive to, I didn't want to drive all the way to, to uh, Tampa to get one. You know, spend $30 to go get a $25 uh, dollar can tank, drum, pickle barrel. Unbelievable, guys. Yeah. So I called Martin up. Oh, then I called Tractor Supply. And I said, you got any pickle barrels? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We, we just got them in. I said, oh, that's cool. Or they use, they use barrels or pickle barrels or... Oh, no, no. These are like brand new. Uh, he said, you mean the tan ones? I said, well, uh, terracotta is what I normally see. These pickles come in. They're a terracotta barrel with a plastic barrel, terracotta color with a black lid on them. No, we don't have that. We've got a brown one. And it's got a lid on it. And it's got a spigot on the bottom. And people use them to collect rainwater off their gutter system. I said, well, that's, that's cool. Well, how much is that, baby? Oh, that's $125. $125, guys, and change for a 55-gallon plastic barrel. I said, I appreciate it, bro. I, I appreciate you Let me... You get, that's the only kind you... That's it, man. That's it. Do you want me to save it for you? I said, uh, no... No, don't put my name on that one. I'll get back with you on that. So anyway. <laughs> so anyway. 
I had to have, I had to go over to Martin's this morning and take some bee boxes over to him. And uh, he said, "You need to come over here anyway. I got you. I got you your your uh, cloak board. I made up two of them." He said, "I like the one I built for you so much. I built another one." So I guess he's got a five frame cloak board also. He's got a ten. He's got a ten frame he built, but he built himself a, a five, I believe. So I went over there with that. He said, "Come out here in the shed." So here's here's what happened, guys. Went out there in the shed and look what he had. Bada bing, guys. Look at this thing. Rule King. It's got a nice flat lid on it. 20 gallon. 20 gallon tank. This is going to be perfect for my small operation, guys. Because I'm mixing up. I'm mixing up 60. Uh, 30, 30 pounds of sugar at a time. So basically 60 pounds, you know at a time to, to do all my bees and I was rummaging through my shed look what I got here guys this thing has been around here for years and I've used it to suck down my when I was raising tilapia fish out here and I had this thing out there in the shed and it was pretty it was pretty ugly looking it had it had it had fish scales all up in here and some cobwebs so I washed it off and I dropped in a five gallon bucket and put some really hot Clorox bleach in there and I came back about four hours later and that water was really ugly looking. So I went over and plugged it in. I set the five gallon bucket out away from the, the barn and I plugged it in and this puppy shot six feet in the freaking air. Yes sir. Six feet in the air. So I ran a couple rounds of water through it She's all cleaned up, ready to rock and roll. Rural King had this. It's, it's a food grade barrel. See, you can put your, your horse feed, your dog food, your cat food, your cow food, your bird food in it. So, but it's got a ledge here. See this ledge here? It's got a step down ledge here, but no big deal. No big deal. This pump's going to go in here just like so. Just like that, right? I'm gonna rig, I'm gonna cut a slot in here to get this out. Right up here, right up here, I'm gonna cut a hole. I'm gonna, that is three quarter. This is three quarter off this pump. Now you can get these pumps at uh, Harbor Freight, right? It's got hose thread on here. We'll go to your hardware store, Lowe's or whatever. They've got a hose, garden hose, to standard pipe thread adapter you just thread that on right just thread this on hand tight it ain't got to be real tight you don't care if it even leaks a little bit all right what's going to happen here guys on this rig the stevo pump rig like i said i'm going to have a slot cut in here for this to come out i'm coming up here straight up here and right here right here I'm going to put a T in here. It's going to pop out three-quarter piping here, right? I'm going to put a street right on the other side of the top side of that T. I'll put a street L. It's like a male on one side, female on the other. I'm coming over here. Coming over here. Over here a little bit. I'm going to put a ball valve right here. We're going to turn it on and off. Ball valve right here. So, and then right after that, I've got a line going straight down. All the way to the bottom. I'm going to have a 90 all the way at the bottom off this ledge down here. To where this return water is going to be flying around this loop. Okay? So I can control the back pressure here. I can control the back pressure on this T. Off of that T... Here's what I'm putting in. Here's what I've been mixing up. I've got sugar water in here now one to one. I've been mixing up my hand. So I will reduce, right here, I will reduce that three quarter pipe down to quarter inch ball valve. <coughs> Just like you see here. Quarter inch ball valve, you'll have, you'll have a uh, quarter inch redu reducer here from three quarter down to quarter inch ball valve 
This is all brass, by the way. This is stainless steel and a brass. Brass nipples, brass nipples. These are bushings. Everything's going to be brass. Brass 90 and a small nipple here. I'm going to jack this thing all up to a nice comfortable working height in my shop. In the shed back there. It's going to be up about this high. Maybe even about this high will be comfortable. I'm thinking one concrete, four concrete, or three concrete blocks standing on end. Then a piece of plywood that cantilevers the blocks out. Right? And then I'm going to, I've got some brick. I'll stack up so I got a comfortable height here. I can just adjust it with bricks up here. Yeah, it's going to work out really slick, guys. I'll have, a, I'll have this here coming out from that T. Be 90 over. I'll have a ball valve here. Line going straight down to the bottom with a 90 tucked all the way to the floor. And that water will just be circulating around and around. So to add back pressure to this T here, to this valve, I'll have a ball valve right here. This is so simple to set up, guys, it's ridiculous. So in other words, you dump your hot water in. Well, however much you know after a while, hand mixing what you're going to deal with. Like, I need at least 30 pounds of sugar. So you need, you know, you need at least 30 pounds of water to make your one-to-one. -one. And load this thing up. And I'm also, instead of hard piping it all the way up, where I can remove my pump easily. They make a, a PVC union right here. I can put a PVC union right here to where you can thread it out. That way you can pull this out. Then this whole contraption, when you pull a heavy pump out, you want to do a rinse, rinse down, right? The pump's out. The cord's out. Everything's out. You just got a little plumbing hanging here. Get, coming through the wall over I may put a bracket here a, a little clamp here to hold this hanging suspended stuff here uh, piping and then you can rinse out the can this is going to be a very simple simple operation and uh, you can cut your mixing time down to nothing and when this ball valve is up nice and high with working height like I say I'm going to stack brick up and put a put a platform there and just stick my jars in and as as I fill my jars this lid will be on I can set my jars up here set my quart jars up here once you get bigger and you if you know I only run I only run quart jars if you're running if you're running bigger operation with with 10 frame equipment you're gonna want to get the you want to get to get the one gallon of or two gallon pails to go on your hives. But with my small operation, quartz is all you need. That's all you need. That's it for today, guys. God bless you. And I will see you soon. We'll just keep on getting it. See ya.